Tottenham should sign World Class's free agent to provide cover for Dominic Solanke. Welcome back to Tottenham News Today channel. Before we dive into this update, be sure to press that subscribe button and keep up with all the latest news. The transfer window slammed shut on August 30th, but clubs can still sign players from the free agent market, so Tottenham should seriously consider signing Memphis Depay, who's out of contract after leaving Atletico Madrid in July. It's already become evident that Postacolu's side needs more depth up front, and Memphis's versatility would certainly aid their ranks. The 98 cap Netherlands international can operate as a centre forward, off both flanks and even in the number 10 role. Memphis made 31 appearances for Diego Simeone's Atleti last season, netting a commendable nine goals whilst laying on two assists. The 30 year old has scored 172 goals throughout his career. So clearly, if Tottenham were to bring him in, he'd certainly improve their cutting edge, which has cost them so far this term. Memphis, who's been labelled world classes per goal, is currently in talks to join Sevilla, so they'll need to act quickly to avoid missing out on his signature. Football London's Alastair Gold says there were plenty of tactical instructions being passed from the Tottenham bench to James Madison during the clash against Newcastle. Madison has arguably been Tottenham's best player across their three Premier League games this season, with the attacking midfielder impressing at St James's Park, even though Spurs ended up on the wrong side of the two, one result. Gold points out that the 27-year-old is back to his best because he is now fully fit, which he was not at times last season and he now has competition for his place in the side. With Lukas Bergvall and Dejan Kulusevski both pushing for that central attacking role, the attacking midfielder knows that he has to be at his best to start every game. Gold also suggests that the former Leicester man is very important due to his tactical understanding, pointing out that he had long chats with Matt Wells on the sidelines during the first half. The journalist explained that the chat seemed to revolve around instructions over positioning, with Madison passing the information on to Yves Bissouma. Gold also wrote, Madison was equally important for long periods, not only with his creativity and forcing Pope into a couple of saves, but also his work rate in getting around the pitch. Postacoglu said the midfielder's fitness is key to confidence and free from injury and able to cover plenty of yards is showing the better version of the 27-year-old. Tottenham News Today. Opinion, one of Tottenham's biggest positives in the three matches so far has been Madison's form, with the attacking midfielder growing in confidence with each game and starting to hit the sort of level we saw from him before his ankle injury. That's all for today's update. If you enjoyed the video and want to stay in the loop with all things Tottenham, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications on our latest content. Don't forget to like this video and share it with fellow Spurs supporters. Let's grow our Tottenham News Today community together. Thanks for watching. And as always, come on you Spurs.